Hey, fight fans, this is Ted Check. So UFC 305 is uh, coming up this weekend, this this Saturday. Uh, although, you know, since since Australia is, uh, is like a day ahead of us, um, I don't know what day it's going to be there, but it's going to be Saturday here for us in these old United States. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is this is an exciting one. Middleweight championship on the line. Drikas Duplessis is the champion. Former champion, now challenger, Israel Adesanya uh, is challenging for, for the belt. And there's some serious bad, <clears throat> excuse me, serious bad blood between these two guys, at least on Adesanya's part. But Adesanya's also got a bone to pick with Dana White and the UFC because he claims that uh, the UFC is attempting to, well, he used the term whitewash. I don't, I don't know if that's appropriate. Uh, is attempting to erase Francis Ngannou, former heavyweight champ Francis Ngannou's legacy from the UFC. Um, is that the case? Let's take a look. So, so here we have uh, Adesanya at a press conference mentioning the three kings, which, which at one time were Adesanya as the middleweight champ, Kamaru Usman as the, uh, as the welterweight champ, and then, uh, and then Francis Ngannou as the, uh, as the heavyweight champ. They've all since lost their titles, but at one point they were uh, what they, I guess they, they called themselves the three kings because they all were born in Africa. Um, and more on that later, but this right here. Be a bit of tension between yourself and take a look Drikas. at this. Can you just run through why that is? There's always tension whenever you fight anyone. This is a fight at the end of the day. We're not playing chess, we're fighting. So there's always gonna be tension there. But then him discrediting me, Kamaru Usman, he came in the UFC, I knew who he was a little bit, but I didn't go, oh, who the f is this fake dude coming in? I just, so cool, he's another African in the UFC. That ticked me off a little bit, so that's what started this, but again, I'll finish it. And also, again, he tried to discredit the Three Kings and say that he's the real true African champion, and I was just like, it's a weird mindset, bro. Like, he came in the UFC, I knew who he was a little bit, but I didn't go, oh, who the fuck's this fake dude coming in? I just, so cool, he's another African in the UFC. But then him discrediting me, Francis Ngannou, Kamaru Usman, that ticked me off a little bit. So that's what started this. So you see the edit there. Okay, it's the, it's the same press conference, but this is the UFC 305 countdown edit. So they edited out the, the phrase, the three kings, and they edited out Francis Ngannou's name, uh, as opposed to this one right here where, where it's, it's in the footage. So he actually did say it. Um, so I think he's using that as an example, and I don't know if there are any other examples, but using that as an example of, uh, the UFC, you know, uh, erasing Francis Ngannou's legacy from their record books. Uh, and a lot of people are, are shocked at this. I'm not, I, for one, am not, uh, this is kind of part and parcel for the UFC. Uh, okay. So first of all, uh, they can do what they want. Okay, they they are not, um, you know, they're a privately owned company. So like you take the NFL, right? Well, the Football Hall of Fame is separate from the NFL. Notice it's the Football Hall of Fame. It's not the NFL Hall of Fame. It's the Football Hall of Fame. So the Football Hall of Fame puts people in there. They put who they want in there. The NFL doesn't have a say as far as I understand it or or maybe has some say, but not everything. The UFC decides who's going to go in their Hall of Fame. The UFC decides who's going to go on their website and who's not. Take a look at Frank Shamrock. Frank Shamrock was a very... Shamrock. Frank Shamrock was a very successful UFC champion. He beat Tito Ortiz. and uh, But then he had his differences with the UFC. And they've essentially done the same thing. They don't ever mention Frank Shamrock. That's what they do. That is, that is, like it or don't like it, that's what the UFC does. And they're entitled to it. I mean, I don't like the fact that they don't talk about Frank Shamrock. I, I like Frank. I've, I've met Frank before, interviewed him. Um, you, you know what I mean? I don't like that they, that they don't recognize him. They don't acknowledge him. But what are you going to do? It's their company. They can do what they want. You know? Um, so I, I don't know that Adesanya really wants to, to burn bridges here. Um, I don't know what kind of, what his contract entails, you know, uh, I think, I mean, Dana White gets it like, it, it, he's going to let fighters say what they want to say. He doesn't, he doesn't police 
what the fighters say. If they want to spout off about him, that's fine. But, you know, um, still, you know, is, is it really, uh, you know, is it really wise to rock the boat? I guess that's something for Adesanya to consider. I guess he did consider it and he said, yeah, you know what? I'm going to speak up about it. Okay, fine. That's fine, too. Um, but just don't be shocked by it because it's just, uh, generally speaking, if you uh, are at odds with the UFC, then they're going to pretend like you didn't exist. That's that's just their way, you know. They're like, oh, well, why should we give this person respect if they, you know, if if they're saying negative things about us, etc. So now back to the feud with uh, with Adesanya and uh, Duplessis. Um, so these guys, the three kings, all African by birth. However, the thing that uh, Duplessis has on them is that he was born, raised, continues to live and trains in Africa. These three guys left Africa to seek their fortunes, uh, or le left, left Africa for one reason or another, but they, they, they felt they needed to, or whatever. Whatever happened in their lives, they, they left Africa and then trained outside of Africa and then uh, got their titles. So I think that's the distinction that, um, that Duplessis is making when he says, I'm gonna be the first African champion. And that, of course, went up Adesanya's backside sideways. And so so now he is full of all this emotion. And we know that emotion is not always a good thing when it comes to the fight game. You know, it, it can be a motivator, but it also can really, really sap your energy. Um, you can spend a lot of energy with all that, all that anger uh, coursing through your veins. You know, that it, it takes a lot to be angry. You know, and uh, and clearly Adesanya is. You talk, you talk to Duplessis, and he'll say, he'll say, hey man, it's business. At the end of the day, it's business. And it doesn't appear, from all that I've seen, it doesn't appear that it's bothering him in any way, shape, or form. But uh, Adesanya is very, very angry, and uh, we'll just have to see, you know, if that if that plays into it at all. You know. Um, some people say that, you know, the fights are won and lost at the stare downs. I don't know, but clearly, clearly Duplessis is under Adesanya's skin. And uh, it'll be up to Adesanya, um, you know, to see whether he can temper that, you know, if he can control that, or if he's going to let it get to him. It gets out of hand, it takes away his energy, and it might be a factor in him losing the fight. We'll just have to see. But that is, that's the whole story, or at least the, uh, the story, as far as I understand it. Um, and I don't know if Dana White has responded, you know, to, to Adesanya saying that, uh, you know, they're trying to erase Nganu. It would probably be, oh, it would probably be a mistake if Dana White actually even said anything, because then he would be in, acknowledging Nganu. So if he says nothing, then he will continue along the path that the UFC has, has started, which is not acknowledging uh, Francis Ngannou at all. So, there you go. I'm sure he's going to be asked about it. We'll just have to see if he addresses it or not. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. Yeah, there's the finger. Uh, who who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win this weekend? Drikas Duplessis or Israel Adesanya? Um, should be a, just an absolutely uh, amazing fight, I think. At least on paper it is. These guys are at the top of their game. So, yeah, it, it should be a good one. Uh, thanks, and I will talk to you later.